Greetings everyone, welcome to this new video. We're gonna take a look at my league starter for 3.7 Legion. It's gonna be a Cyclone Slayer. It's gonna be very important to know that not all gems or most of the gems or most of the updates have not come into Path of Building yet. So the numbers you're gonna see in this video are heavily yeah, in the lower end and it's probably gonna double in damage and the area of effect and all of those kind of juicy things. Also, it doesn't take into account if you have tried Cyclone before, you know it's quite a big area. You can scale it quite well and you can get it up to a huge area and you can get decent movement speed, but both movement speed is gonna be greater and definitely the area of effect is gonna be huge. It's basically gonna cover the whole screen as we're gonna play it right now. And because we're doing a pure physical and no crit, it's gonna be very easy to find gear for it. All of my gear pieces are there to just be as cheap as possible, but I also have some key uniques that obviously is gonna scale very well with this build. So there's gonna be some um, experimenting going on here in the beginning because the rework of the passive tree was so huge for the melee and also how the new mechanics work and everything and some new skill gems that no one has tested out yet that looks very promising so we're gonna take a look at all of this you can take a look in the description and on the side of the screen which time codes goes for what you specifically want to look at so you don't need to look through the whole video if you don't have to so without further ado let's just jump into it to start out with we're gonna start with our gear in section here we have a lot of different pieces that are put in some I've crafted myself and some I have um, just picked because they're uh, very good uniques for this build and I'm gonna discuss a little bit I'm gonna try to speed through this so the video doesn't become too long but the best item right now uh, for this build and it's gonna be a chaser item here and you're gonna kill shaper for this kind of item is Starforge I think Starforge has incredibly damage and because we are already are pure physical we do not need that uh, that negative mod that deal no elemental damage doesn't even face us and that um, up to 100 life is just insanely good so we can get up to 7000 in uh, our health pool and together with all the other defenses we have in this build it's gonna be insane we are gonna leech so much we're gonna have so many defensive layers because of the new skill gems I, we are basically gonna be invincible uh, for our other we have condos pride which is a, a good leveling weapon uh, Honestly, you can kill uh, probably, you can go all the way up to Shaper with this one. Uh, Demon Saw, also good leveling weapon. Uh, both these are usually a uh, chaos or two. I don't know, it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive in the start of the league, but one week in, I, I would expect them to be very, very cheap. Then you can craft your own kind of sword here. Honestly, I put in access also here because um, that it's. I want to do a sword character because I find that uh, scaling was better and stuff like that. But I know a lot of people are going for uh, axe character also. And it's going to be a little bit more expensive also because you at Siri Disfavor, it's going to be Uber at Siri you're going to need to kill. And that's going to take a long time for people to get there. So I think these ones are going to be much more, extemp uh, more expensive. But you can get these insane self craft one where you can get a pseudo seven link through uh, level 20 fortify as a mod and then you use all the other gems on top of that so that means you can have a seven link on this one and you just replace on the tree you just replace all the sword nodes for um, axe nodes then it's very simple so there's not much change going on there so whatever you feel like whatever you get the right gear for in the beginning you just pick and um, for our helmet we can either go with um, Devoto's Devotion which cause uh, movement speed is very important when it comes to Cyclone because the faster we move we already get a um, debuff from Cyclone when we move so we move slower when we activate Cyclone and move around so the more movement speed is 
it's just gonna be better all around. Then we can dodge more without dropping our Cyclone stacks and stuff like that. And the way that Cyclone works now, the longer you channel, the more damage or the more area you're gonna have or radius to your skill you're gonna have and so on. So you don't wanna drop off those stacks. But uh, I mean, you can get these insane kind of helmet also, which have uh, extra melee range to it and so much life and blood rage. The, um, the enchant you want to go for is increased uh, cyclone attack speed or blood rage grants additional 12% increased attack speed. Attack speed is very good for our build. Um, for our chest, I went for belly of the beast because we get this life there, we get life on any other, every other gear piece. So in, um, percentage increased maximum life is very good for us. It's going to be very hard to pick up uh, more nodes, so I think it's hard to beat this one chest. But I know other people might go for Combs Heart, which is also an insane. You can get even more um, life then out of that, but that means you're not going to get a 6 link in your chest slot. So if you're just going for one six link, which is going to be our Star Forge, then then um, Combs Heart is definitely a good choice here. But you're losing out a little bit. I'm probably going to go for Belly of the Beast in the beginning and try to six link it. Uh, Bronze Leaf, uh, I think it's a little bit overkill. I saw some people on the forum talking about it. So Tablo Rasa is going to be my first 6 link because it always is in every new league. You should always farm this one. This one will carry you all the way up to red maps or even Shaper. People have killed Uber Elder with this item, so it's very good item to just go for. And then you can craft your own, of course. i probably not go this. I Tablo Rasa will probably be the way. Uh, for our gloves, spike gloves is going to be... Um, very expensive I believe, but it's gonna have the implicit increased melee damage and we can just put in uh, increased flat uh, physical damage to attacks with life and we can have, if it's an elder item, we can have increased uh, melee weapon and armed on range and like gain frenzy charge on kill, which means we can maybe drop our blood rage or something like that. We can also have endurance charges there. And then we can also craft it from our crafting bench, melee weapon and armor range. So that is going to be extremely profitable. And also here, hemophilia, it's going to, because we are a bleed build, uh, if you want some more extra clear speed, but I don't think we're going to need that. So I'm probably going to go for the um, rare gloves. Boots, we want movement speed like I talked about before. Here you want to pack as much movement speed, as much life and as much resistance as you can so these are very important you just push in as much as you're missing right in that slot and this one i would say together with starforge is the two chaser items in this league for our build because the plus two melee weapon on round range melee damage on full life which we are going to be on all the time with the slayer leech and increase movement speed and full life i mean this Amulet was made for Cyclone in mind. This one is insanely good for us. So please pick this one if you can. Uh, other ones are just normal, physical damage to attacks, maximum life accuracy we don't need because we have a um, resolute technique. We don't need it, so we're never going to miss a target. Uh, for our rings, steel rings are going to be a hot cannot. Can what is the word? <laughs> I can't say it. Uh, it's gonna be going like hotcakes in this league because the um, implicit it does, it's physical damage to attacks. So you want steel rings. If you're gonna craft a ring yourself, use steel rings. Spend that extra currency to just get steel rings. And you're looking for life, attack speed, extra physical to attack. And some stats that you might need because we might be starving on some of the stats to get for example um i think it's 111 to get infused channeling which is going to be in this build in intellect uh, which we are definitely not going to pick up anywhere else but the gear um also belt uh we could go for um the wretch 
but honestly we are not I, I don't think so I mean it's gonna be very expensive first of all but I, I'm just gonna go for um, at least at the start I'm gonna go for one of these belts which we're just gonna try to max out all our resistance and as much life as possible but the wretch is a huge damage movement and also if I can afford it it's my third chaser item probably for our flasks we have um, nothing important here really of course we have a quicksilver flask of adrenaline because adrenaline is the key word here for a quicksilver so we're gonna have maximum movement we already talked about this in the previous section how important it is with movement when it comes to a cyclone because it gives the debuff there uh, we are also gonna go with onslaught we can get onslaught on the skill tree now because they put it in there for some reason it's awesome that they did, but I think it's too many points to go for that onslaught, especially when you can get onslaught on a flask, or you can even get it on an abyssal. So I would rather just have a flask for it, for it, and we're gonna have freeze immunity, and we also want curse immunity for bleeding immunity. We don't need. I put it in there before I changed my tree, so I would put bleeding immunity off this and put curse and freezing as my two immunities uh, lion's roar uh, we'll have to see but this one is huge damage boost if we click this one in you can see how much the damage changes and yeah it's flee on a use and it also pushes them back and everything like that so we're I think lion's roar is it's very common so I think this one is a huge boost for our build but I don't know what about the knockback we'll have to see if it actually affects anything and um, next one is a basalt flask additional physical damage reduction so because we're gonna be in melee range we definitely want that and uh, so melee damage or physical damage is gonna be our Achilles heel here but with everything all the buffs we're getting from this build uh, and after the 3.7 patch I think it's we are gonna be so good on this and maybe a life flask I know people are using that withering jar also I, don't know, I didn't bring it in here but I honestly will have to see what um, this I just put it in as a placeholder I don't think we're gonna need a life flask especially with Slayer Leech for our jewels we don't have a lot of jewel slots and I honestly don't know about this uh, unique jewel I <laughs> I just like the wording melee weapon and on range because range here is the keyword it scales much more than um, increased AOE and stuff like that percentage because yeah you can watch videos on that but yes trust me on this it does so it has diminishing returns uh, on both so you wanna have AOE percentage and you want plus to uh, range it's mathematics people so uh, the other jewels we are gonna go with the uh, normal ones here and uh, not abyss jewels because we already have so much life on this build and I've they also got a nerf in um, 3.7 so I think we are gonna go with these jewels now instead and it's gonna be much easier to find good ones because they only have one tier whilst um, abyss jewels have multiple tiers of all the mods so we're gonna look for uh, physical damage to handed melee weapons increase attack speed and definitely on all the jewels you should always go increased percentage to increase maximum life that is just a given increased area damage is also good uh, if you have some elemental resistant that you need to cap then pick that you can have in melee damage there's a bunch of damage for our skill gems we are gonna take a look over here first because um, our damage is pretty decent even more than decent 1 million damage already or close to it but this is probably gonna be multiplied by 2 at least when it comes to the final numbers for this build because the skill gems have not been updated at all in path of building and it's this 3.7 gave a huge massive buff to all melee gems and cyclone and all those things so take put that into mind and I'm gonna update it as soon as it's 
well, Path of Building has done so. So, first of all, uh, the pluses here on Cyclone, Impale and Pulverize, that means that I have not yet put them in, because I cannot at this point, because Impale and Pulverize have not been updated into Path of Building also. So some of these have extra things to them. First of all, Cyclone got a huge buff. It has um, physical damage, flat physical damage on it right now, which it had them before. And also it has extra melee range the longer you channel, which you're gonna channel very fast up. And if you hold it down, you're gonna have a huge range of your channel or of your cyclone, which is very good. Infuse channeling works with cyclone now because it's a channeling skill, and uh, it gives us uh, both uh, less physical damage to hit, which is a great thing because that's our Achilles heel when it comes to this build. Melee damage because we're gonna be or physical damage because we're gonna be in melee range so often we're gonna be slammed all the time. It's gonna help us a lot, and infuse channeling also give a great extra thing to damage. So good all around. And uh, maim has been one of those that is always on every cyclone build and all the melee skills and stuff like that. So we're keeping that one. Uh, these are damage on full life. It probably is gonna go away. I'm just having that in until I can get impaled and pulverized. Brutality. Is the one we want to go for here uh, it's very good because we have no chaos damage and no elemental damage when i get the wretch the belt i probably need to switch brutality for something else but until then i can keep it that's why i'm probably not gonna chase that item as a first one or a second one or even a third one maybe uh, chance to bleed i'm probably gonna switch out because of impaled and pulverized because we get a lot of bleed from the tree already and honestly there's so many good ones fortify is gonna take our <laughs> this is gonna be great because i hate doing leap slam to get my fortify buff up all the time so we're definitely gonna use fortify in a link because it got a great buff in uh, 3.7 so it's gonna take a permanent place so you're gonna have permanent fortify up which means that we're also gonna put in on the skill tree some fortify buffs uh, points there also for a leap slam which is gonna be a uh, jumping over ledges and stuff like that i think leap slam is very good all around uh, i don't know if blood magic is gonna be needed otherwise you can put something else it depends also because our um, cyclone gets less mana is was 12 now it's two but i don't know it's the phrasing make me think that it's not the same something if you know how if it's different in 3.7 please tell me in the comments uh, faster attacks definitely endurance charge on melee stun again we, because how leap slam works now it's always gonna enemies on full life is always gonna be stunned by our leap slam which means we're always gonna have an easy way of getting endurance charges. So definitely this one. We had fortify on this one before probably, but we are not using that anymore. Cost one damage taken is always good. Um, immortal call is not immortal anymore. <laughs> I don't know. They ne really need to uh, rephrase it here. It might be. We have steel skin, um, molten shell. I don't know if any of those can work, but I'm gonna start out with immortal call, which is a given in most other builds. I don't know after the nerf, kind of, if it's still gonna be good though. Increased duration, obviously and val haste not any not the haste we're only using it for the val version and um, then we have the auras and the buff uh, i put in parentheses here and we can put a plus there also to pride because pride is definitely gonna be here uh, we're gonna have a oh, there's so many buffs uh, this is gonna need some testing mad hero the purity might be a good one uh, Blood Rage definitely gonna go into the build because yeah, it's just good all around getting extra charges attack speed fiscal leech and The G gen is is gonna be offset by all our uh, slayer leech anyway, and I think we're gonna go for um, I don't know war banner or dread banner. I Don't know it's a hard pick here. I'm probably because we're an impale We're probably gonna go for the dread banner here uh, 
if you specking into uh, anything else but impaled then you probably want to go with the war banner uh, also the curses here uh, you can have vulnerability but you can also get that as a um, valing on the gloves you can have vulnerable vulnerability on hit which means it's gonna be much less mana reserved you're gonna have 35 percent less mana reserved you can also go in feeble if you uh, already feel like you have enough damage because in feeble is super good for defense and enlighten if you can afford it in the end but you're probably not gonna need it and blood and sand looks insanely good um, gives us extra AOE, extra boss damage depending on the so I definitely gonna recommend this one I'm gonna try it out it's a completely new gem so it's gonna need some testing but I think it's gonna be a great thing so those were all the gems and we are waiting anticipating for path of building to be updated so we can put in the right numbers off to the next one the skill tree in 3.7 got a major rework. I saw a picture on the forum showing how many of the nodes were actually changed. There were about 80% of them, I would believe, uh, that got changed. So there's going to be a lot of experimenting going on in the beginning with this. But I think by going through all the forums, what other people are doing, what I'm thinking for my build and everything, I think this is a great choice. You can't go wrong with this one. Will it be the most optimized? We just have to see with the new gems and so on. But you will be close to being optimized at least. So we're going to go from here in the beginning. Just pick up these nodes, some life, some attack speed. And then we're just going to go and get our some attack speed here. And go on the lower path and get that juicy 8% increased maximum life. And then that one. And I love this one. Plus one to melee weapon and armor range. Which means our cyclone and all our other abilities is going to take out so much space. And also we're going to pick up this one. It's two-handed melee weapons. We want to, in the beginning, to pick up any two-handed melee weapon things we can get our hands on. And not like these ones up here, because these are swords. They might not affect you, but you're going to corner yourself by picking the sword nodes. Because when you're leveling, you're going to pick up items. And only if you pick these nodes, you are cornering yourself only to swords in the beginning. So while you're leveling, I would suggest you go with these kind of um, two-handed melee weapons. Like here, 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 and some other places. And then in the end, when you're hitting maps and you're going for more, you, know, you can start trading and stuff like that. Then you go for the specific nodes that you want. And if you don't want swords, you want to go with um, uh, axes, then you just pick the axe nodes, which are right next to it. So it's just as simple as that to just switch from uh, sword nodes to axe nodes. Uh, so we're down here now and I would pick go all the way over here and pick uh, the mana and life leech because i think this is going to sustain us both it has done so in previous leagues so i think that is going to be the case even here i'm going to pick up this one also increase maximum life i'm going to skip this one uh, jewels nodes i usually skip until i hit maps and i can pick up some decent ones probably going to skip this one also because it's swords and it's a little bit out of the way and we don't really need it here in the beginning then I'm gonna path and I'm gonna path right by these because these are impale and um, bleed nodes and we don't really need those in the beginning. Uh, we could pick up these ones also if you want some extra melee range and I think these are gonna, yeah, it's gonna boost you. So uh, we can actually pick those up. And then I would go down here and pick up all these nodes because this is going to boost your damage quite a bit. I would wait with the fortify a little bit uh, towards the maps area because it does not matter if you're playing softcore. But then you might want to wait. If you play hardcore, you might want to pick this up. Also, we have some juicy maximum uh, life right here. Uh, I would wait with these though for later in the game. And then I would start, I would <laughs> not pick those ones, because in pale again, we're going to wait until the end. Then we're just going to pick some, uh, go right up here and pick some uh, of these. These we're going to wait with until the end. 
Then we pick these one and definitely gonna rush up to resolute technique so we can get those your hits can't be avoided. Uh, because when we're going for our cyclone, we definitely want this one. So when you equip cyclone, resolute technique should be a good note to have. Then after that, I would go. Um, Mm, I will probably go in here, get these, so I will path up here and go take this, 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 and this. And then it's basically you're in the end game, so you can either path up here if you feel like you're squishy, get some more extra life, or you can get the impale notes and the bleeding notes. I would definitely start getting these four notes at least. And then you can pick up some. Uh, sword nodes right here and right here and some extra juicy two melee range here as i said uh, there might be some small changes but i think by checking what other people have been doing and what other people were thinking on the forums reddit and everything and what my own thoughts and my own experience with this i think this is a really really good choice slayer ascendancy got a major rework in 3.7 also and it is buffed I think uh, this is the way to go <laughs> this is the safest route it might not be the most damaged and might not be the best AOE but it's the slayer leech is just too good to not to take so we're gonna take for our first ascendancy I'm gonna pick headsman it's um, more damage if killed recently so this is where withering jar would pop in into the flask so if we have this on bosses within jar it releases the worms you kill them and you get more damage the key word here is more that's multiple on top of all the other things so as soon as you see the word more damage and not increased damage increased damage is much lower but more damage is insanely good and uh, then I'm gonna go into Bane of Legend and just gives me that on bosses it, this is gonna be insane if you're gonna farm shaper kill and en kill enemies that have 20 or lower life when hit by your skill that means the last phase of shaper which is the one the hardest one is just gonna kill him outright there uh, also gain increased attack speed will tend to uh, 20 seconds when you kill a rare at uh, 20 increased movement speed also when you kill a rare enemy uh, kill an enemy at all which is gonna be up all the time basically I would pick these two as my first ascendancies and then go on to uh, overkill damage here endless hunger and then brutal favor for that juicy overleach here uh, so when you this is why I love slayer because you never stop leeching while you're mapping if you're fast enough and going from place to place you're never gonna stop leeching that means that all the other buff we are leaning into in this build is just going to be active all the time. And uh, especially good on bosses because uh, you're not going to hit the boss at all time. But you might get hit and you <laughs> might not want to go back in there if you have really low life. But Slayer Leech takes care of that. I know it got a slight nerf a few leaks ago. But uh, it's it's just so good you can also go for impact which is gonna be super super good if you want that extra area but honestly and if you want to go crit this one uh, I uh, the reason why I'm not going for this as a league starter is because crit is in multiplier is gonna be really hard to come by and it's gonna be so much more expensive so I'm going the safe and the sheep route here I think this is gonna take you all the way up to uber elder and be able to kill him quite comfortable for our Pathions, we're definitely gonna go with the major god soul of Arakali because of that second mod there so you have to kill uh, capture the queen to get that mod in those bottles and it's because the increased recovery rate of life and energy shield you will not be sorry for picking that one. It's going to scale extremely well with our life leech as a slayer. So please pick that one. And then it's on the minor gods. You can pick whatever. It's not that much difference. But soul of Gratuli or a soul of Shakari for the immune to poison is definitely my choice. Bandits, we're definitely going to kill them all. Which means that we're going to get the two extra passive points. 
for our tree because in 3.7 our melee tree we're gonna need all the points we can get also if you want to switch builds it's uh, not gonna cost you a massive amount to get those um, regret books uh, that means that you can actually switch the bandits around so definitely go with two points so there we have it that was the full cyclone slayer build pure physical I thank you so much for watching this video for so long and I sincerely question your sanity at this point it's a little bit longer than I was anticipating I'm gonna try to update it uh, with a new video in the future and I'm also gonna update it in the description and in the comments below so keep an eye on that and if you have any of your own questions you want to ask me then put them in the comments uh, you can support me by putting a like on this video and subscribe to my channel and I thank you for your future support have a great day mm -hmm.